When I first visited Montenegro in 2019, I instantly fell in love. Now we are in a cost of living crisis, and people are looking for cheaper, newer destinations that I feel like sharing the magnificent destination that is Montenegro. First, let's talk about the natural beauty. Located on the Adriatic Sea, Montenegro boasts stunning beaches, crystal clear waters and towering mountains. The Bay of Coter, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a must-see, with its winding fjord-like coastline and charming medieval towns. But the beauty extends beyond the coast. Many come to Montenegro on a cruise, but actually visiting the country and exploring the whole countryside and coastline is the best way to do it all. Making sure you visit all the small island churches that Montenegro is famous for is a must. When in lesser explored places it's best to get out there and see as many places as possible before they change. I found Montenegro similar to Greece in natural beauty but with a separate flair and personality. There is plenty more to be offered in terms of natural beauty. The country is home to breathtaking national parks such as Demeter National Park and Biograd Skagora, which offer endless opportunities for outdoor activities like hiking, whitewater rafting and skiing. The country has a rich history and culture, with influences from both the East and West. You can see this blend in the architecture, music and cuisine of Montenegro. From Roman ruins to Yugoslav brutalism, every type of traveler can find something for them in Montenegro. The old town of Koter, with its fortified walls and narrow streets, is a perfect example of the country's rich history. And the music and dance of Montenegro area blend of traditional Balkan and Mediterranean styles, making for a unique and lively cultural experience. Another reason to visit Montenegro is the affordability. The cost of living is lower than many other European countries, making it a budget-friendly destination. And with the country's great value for money, you can enjoy activities such as white water rafting, Hiking and skiing at a fraction of the cost you might find elsewhere. This is alongside the more standard activities like swimming in the beautiful med or driving down the coast. While you might not get the glamorous hotels you find in London or Paris, if you're like me, then you aren't staying there anyway. Plus, the food and drink in Montenegro are delicious and affordable, making it easy to enjoy all the culinary delights the country has to offer. Getting here is also surprisingly cheap. Often with lesser visited places flights are expensive and inconsistent but not so with Montenegro as budget airlines like EasyJet make it easy to get to. Perhaps the best reason to visit is the friendly and welcoming locals. Montenegrins are known for their hospitality and will go out of their way to make sure you have a great time. Whether you're staying in a hotel or renting a holiday home, you'll find the locals to be warm and welcoming. I've recently been making an effort to talk to locals more when abroad. And while Montenegrins aren't the best at English, what you can convey through sign is fun in and of itself. Plus, you can always resort to Google Translate. Montenegro is hoping to join the EU soon, which will likely shoot up its tourism. So get at it while it's still a lesser-known gem and not another Croatia or Greece, though if you're looking for a beautiful, affordable and welcoming destination. Look no further than Montenegro. Trust us, you won't be disappointed. Whether you're seeking adventure, relaxation or cultural immersion. Montenegro has something for everyone, but we hope you have a wonderful time in this amazing country.